Deliver the bad news to Brian. Find Brian Wilkes' father. Uh oh. Well, there's a roller skate here. And a basketball. Oh no, his dad didn't make it. Well, we already picked the lock, so... I hope I can adopt this kid. Are we just gonna leave this kid in the wasteland, or what? to the kid. I guess this is where he sleeps. Is he gonna stay here? Oh, we can't just leave him here in the middle of Antville and all these fires. No, we gotta get him out of here. Alright, I'm gonna get his teddy bear and get him out of here. Come on, kid. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? Deliver the bad news to Brian and investigate Marigold Metro Station. Alright, let's go deliver the bad news to Brian. Ha! Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here! Hey! Come on, tell me already! Oh no. What happened? He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. I'll stop whatever started this, I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again! Yep. I wish I had met you a long time ago, and then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Aw, oh, can I adopt him? Can I send him to Megaton? If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Okay, thanks. Alright, here's the metro station. I'm gonna regret this. It's gonna be full of these ants and this is gonna suck. I don't even know where we're supposed to go exactly or what we're trying to do in here. Investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. Great.
<laughs> Blew him to hell, didn't it? That was awesome. When we met Brian yesterday, that's a little kid who survived the ant attacks, but his dad died. That was his dad that was dead inside that apartment there, that house. Uh, he said his dad called him fucking ants. So that's what we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him fucking ants. Alright, here we go. Grady's last recording. Alright, what's that all about? If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Alright, this guy... Said he hit a key... Somewheres... In the room with the spinning light, huh? Would that light still be spinning after 200 years? Or is this a relatively recent recording? Who knows? are tough, man. They're tougher than raiders. I think they're tougher than those Talon Merc assholes. Tougher than mutants. Fragmines, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Yeah, sneak attack. All right, awesome. Did he just get up? Or is that another one? Anybody else? Jesus. Oh, there's the spinning light. Remember? The guy said he hit the key in the place with the spinning light. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. Alright, here we go. Alright, it could be this one. We got it! We got it. Alright. Let's open this door and see what's in here. I'm gonna close that behind me so the ants don't come in and bite my butt. All right, he said the key was in a firebox. 
Oh, open Grady's safe. Locked average. Oh, I guess I don't need to find the key. Ooh, there's a ripper in here. I suppose I could try it. I did it. Naughty Nightwear? That's it? Naughty Nightwear? Really? That's all that's in there? Oh, that's funny. Oh shit, who's this? Who the hell are you? I'm only gonna ask you this one time. Give me the Naughty Nightwear. Okay, just take it. I don't freaking want it. I've already got some. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now scram. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> He's like, bye. The hell was that all about? Lug nut. Yeah, yeah. Just keep on walking. Watch out for the man, slug nut. I wonder if we're going to find lug nut dead. Oh, that's funny. What the heck? Why does Lugnut want the Naughty Nightwear? Where'd he go? Oh, dang. Alright, well, I guess we get the Naughty Nightwear after all. I think my weapon is starting to, like, fall apart, though. Hey, it's still alright. Damage 32. Okay. Lug nut, you dumbass. Oh well. Wait a minute. How did he have an undershirt on when his chest was bare? I saw his back was bare and everything in that armor. I mean, not that I was looking. or anything, you know. I wasn't. <clears throat> but, uh, how did he have a nightshirt on? Or an undershirt on? That's crazy. Tool cabinet is empty. Mine box I will take. Oh. Whoa. William Brandis. He was the other dude living in the town with that kid. Wasn't he? Isn't that one of the people that the kids had worked there? William Brandis' is key. Oh, dang. He had like a wife and kid though, didn't he? And, and the, uh, Brian, the, the kid back in Grey Ditch, said that this guy was a real jerk and his wife seemed to be scared of him or something, so... Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but what the hell? Okay, looks like we came in down here. Ah, oh, see? Okay, I remember this area. This is where we first came in, right here. And then this is the area where it had escalators and stuff. And then they had this two branching pathways and I took the left side and we looped back around through here. Then this is where we found the Naughty Nightwear. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, what's over here? Oh geez. Till you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. I wasn't trying to creep up on you. You startled me, dude. <laughs> creep up on you? I just crapped my pants for crying out loud. That's no way to talk to a <gasps> man of science. 
I don't have time for this kind of childish nonsense. I have some very delicate experiments that I must attend to. I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. So it's your fault they breathe I fire. call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. An error? People have died, let's go. A small price to pay for the advancement oh, of science. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy. A few die, and later, after the mutagen is improved, many more will live. That's the way it's done. Do you work for vault -Tec? The only way to correct this mistake is to modify the mutagen. I must get to my terminal. Okay, so what exactly do you need? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Jesus. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little abominations. And this will stop the fire ants? No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Jesus Christ. I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel the itch of wasteland justice here, you guys. Starting to feel a little bit like I should just uh, shoot Dr. Lesko and end all of this nonsense. But, um... If he can disable all of the other ants, that's probably a good thing to do. Then we can shoot him. For being a callous asshole. Uh, okay. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Okay. What can you tell me about the fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The ability to emit flame I figured that already. Jesus. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Okay. All right. Well, can I come in here and look around? <laughs> Jeez. Is this a one-way trip? 